I think that's, I use black to mask the rainbow sometimes. That wants to come out of me. Hi, my name is Lisa Solberg. I guess I've been very classically trained and been doing it as long as I can remember. It was always sort of like that's what Lisa's gonna be as an artist. <laughs> and um, I always sort of knew that as well. So it's been it's been a very fortunate path. As a visual person, I mean with a few nuts loose here and there, like most other artists. I mean, I always have images and things, like crazy things in my head from dreams and like subconscious levels and whatever. It's nice to have drawing to fall back on to sort of express those sort of things um, on a very uh, objective level and to be able to work my hand in a way in like a technical way that it's like aesthetically pleasing as you draw it or as you do it you have a finished product even if it's a sketch and it's like it's skillful and it's rewarding in that sense and and it can also you know speak on so many different levels and for example a large-scale painting which is like really where my heart is at um, that for me is all those drawings like from the wallpaper for example a painting for me is like stack up like a million of those and like light it on fire and then that's one of my paintings for me that's like the accumulation of everything is just less visible I feel like every single painting for me is like like a short-lived relationship that involves everything from my past. So it's like it's a fling, a very intense one, and you give it everything you have and you make the best of it. And then once it's over, it's over. And that's totally how I feel about my paintings. It's like once I finish the painting, I'm like, oh, thank God, let's just move on to the next one. But I really thought that was a good experience. And I really gave it my best. <laughs> and I'm going to give you even more in the next one. <laughs>